The reason Kamala Harris is not getting into more depth about all of her possible programs, because I think if people find out, they're not going to be happy about it. Now, she does right. these interviews, and I argue to you that the reason she's struggling and she can't, she's like tied up as a, in a pretzel. She has stated publicly that. <laughs> and so the meme was born. Number two, I know you're not talking about somebody being lucid and cogent and enunciating their thoughts with clarity, and you're bragging about Donald Trump. We can't be watching the same stuff oh, if I am. that's what you're doing. Oh, you ain't gonna do that today. You know now, what? Lindsey Graham, hold it. Now, Senator yeah. Lindsey oh, Graham is about today. to come on this show. Let me tell you now, something. That man can articulate I have himself sat very with well. Him. Not Donald Trump now. Uh, I, 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 he, really? Look, you know, it's funny. People try. This is Can't like the press conference. Listen, Stephen A. Smith was forged in the fires of endless hours of broadcast sports journalism screaming about Jordan versus LeBron, how the Cowboys suck, and balls may or may not have been deflated, inviting him onto a political talk show to discuss two of the most mismatched candidates in political history is like sending Prime Messi into... Well, the MLS, no offense. That's right, this Fox interview with ESPN First Take host didn't go to plan Thursday evening soon after Trump made another unhinged campaign stop in Nevada. Stephen A. Smith sparred with professional Trump bootlicker Sean Hannity live on air when the Fox News host launched into a strong defense of Donald Trump's mental state. Yes, he defended this. Arnold Palmer was all man, and I say that in all due respect to women, and I love women, but this guy, this guy, this is a guy that was all man. His man was strong and tough. And I refuse to say it, but when he took showers with the other pros, they came out of there, they said, oh my God, that's unbelievable. <laughs> I had to say it, I had to say it. We have women that are highly sophisticated here. And it wasn't long before the two TV personalities exchanged barbs on behalf of the two presidential candidates as Hannity hit out at Kamala Harris's public speaking ability, which, as I mentioned, birthed the perfect meme with Stephen A. Smith speaking on behalf of anyone in the world with eyes and ears not in a cult. Are we really going to debate public speaking when Trump can't go between windmills causing cancer and late great Hannibal Lecter without a pit stop at Arnold Palmer's junk? All right, so let's stay on, on Kamala Harris for a second here. Um, Democrats are in a state of panic. All, all the momentum seems to be going to Donald Trump. I told you this would happen in a private conversation mm -hmm. we had. You were skeptical. I think I was mm -hmm. proven right. You know sports I better still than am. I do. I think I know politics. I, I, I know you do. Uh, but here's my question for you. You did call her out early and you said mm -hmm. she's making a mistake not doing interviews. Now, she does right. these interviews. And I argue to you that the reason she's struggling and she can't she's like tied up as a, in a pretzel. Because she can't express what she has stated publicly, that she wants the Green New Deal, the elimination of the filibuster. She can't say she wants to eliminate private health insurance, as she has said in the past. She's not going to run on what she has stated in the past to decriminalize illegal immigration, free, free food, housing, health care, education, sex change operations and and a path to citizenship or banning fracking, banning offshore drilling. So she has to. Mm -hmm. You know, give us word salads because she won't tell us how she really feels. She's hiding her true beliefs. Well, Donald Trump doesn't do that. Smith quickly cut into question whether Hannity was, quote, watching the same stuff as him to have reached such an unfathomable conclusion about Trump's mental acuity. Well, first of all, that's. Well, first of all, that's a very long question. Let's get to it. Number one, yeah, you talk I'm about what a she's point. doing. Bottom line is this: as, as as vice president of the United States, it's not it wasn't her job to lead. She has to go along with the program. You are a support base. You support the person that is in charge, who happened to be Joe Biden. That's number one. Number two, I know you're not talking about somebody being lucid and cogent and enunciating their thoughts with clarity, and you're bragging about Donald Trump. We can't be watching the same stuff oh, if I that's am. what you're doing. Oh, you ain't gonna do that today. You know now, what? Lindsey Graham, hold it. Now, Senator yeah. Lindsey Graham oh, is about today. to come on this show. Let me tell you now, something. that man can articulate himself very with well. with him. Not Donald Trump now. I have, okay, I have sat with him for hour after hour after hour, topic after topic after topic, and he is so mm -hmm. dialed in. Uh, I, 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 he, really? Look, you know, it's funny. People try, this is like and the latest press argument. Conferences? And meanwhile, and meanwhile, 
Meanwhile, your friends in the Democratic Party, they ignored the obvious, significant, deep cognitive decline of the president for over four years. I said it before the 2020 election. Kamala to this day say, oh, Joe was really cognitively alert. Mm -hmm. You know that's a crock. I know that's a crock. What is Everybody she supposed to say, Sean? Knows it's a and if this wasn't another glaring example of how Sean Hannity should never be perceived as anything other than a Trump enabling hatchet man with a microphone masquerading as a news host, then nothing will. How anyone in their right mind can watch this guy stand on stage after stage looking like a wilted pumpkin, ramble incoherently to the point that he's now trying to coin a term to excuse his off the rails train of thought. Which by the way, Fox News can barely stomach as they're consistently cutting away from him. Say that he's mentally sound is laughable. I think you should take a cognitive test like I did. I took a cognitive test and I aced it. Doc Ronnie. Doc Ronnie Johnson, does everyone know Ronnie Johnson, congressman from Texas? He was the White House doctor. How good did Elise step in that job? You know, we've endorsed Dr. Oz. We've endorsed JP, right? JD Mandel, and he's doing great. Jimmy Connors is, Jimmy, Jimmy Connors is good. He's also happy. Mike Bolton, John Bolton is here. Mike Bolton, as you know, is in Russia. And there was progress today. I look forward to solving it. Thank you, Steve. It was Trump's fault. It's always Trump's fault. Can it ever be like Rick Gates's fault? I mean, uh, it's always Trump's fault, Rick. By the way, they never report the crowd on January 6th. You know, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, you know, they did you know they destroyed all of the information, all of the evidence, everything, deleted and destroyed all of it, all of it because of lots of things like Nikki Haley is in charge of security. We offered her 10,000 people. Uh, we have some of our great business leaders and leaders, period, right behind me. Uh, I may ask Marilyn Lockheed. Uh, we appreciate it very much, Tim Apple. Yes, please, Mr. Kurt. Thank you very much for your time. You know, it's interesting. Joe Biden won against Barack Hussein Obama. Has anyone ever heard of him? Arrest their leading political opponent, They're leading by a lot, including Obama. It was, I'll tell you what, you take a look at Obama and take a look at some of the things that he's done. And Putin, you know, has so little respect for Obama that he's starting to throw around the nuclear war today. You heard that, nuclear. Thanks for giving your first comments on the bill on this show. It means a lot to us. We appreciate it, sir. Thanks a lot. You have a deal. Thanks a lot. Bye. Joe Bright, this guy is... Just the worst. So will Christian ever run for president against you? And you heard the prime minister. You heard uh, Benjamin. Maybe have uh, Matt Blum speak next because he's been so incredible in so many ways. He fights so hard. He loves his state. He loves the people. A new, think of it, a new branch of the United States military, United States Armed Forces called Air Force. I never talked about that. That's something we never talked about. But well, what we just saw, we just left pleasure. And a very big hello to a place where we've done very well, Sioux Falls. Thank you very much, Sioux Falls. Thank you. So, Sioux City, let me ask you. Especially when his opponent demonstrated in front of the world the stark difference between both candidates. To the point that Trump would rather eat his well-done steak ketchup-free than face her in another debate. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. And it's a shame. As far as the rallies are concerned as far as the reason they go is they like what I say. They want to bring our country back. They want to make America great again. It's a very simple phrase, make America great again. She's destroying this country. And if she becomes president, this country doesn't have a chance of success. Not only success, we'll end up being Venezuela on steroids. I just want to clarify here, you bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there had been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this, seen people on television. Let me just say here, this is the- but People on television say my dog was taken and used for food. So maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. Uh so yesterday we learned that Donald Trump's former chief of staff, John Kelly, a retired four-star general, confirmed that while Donald Trump was president, 
He said he wanted generals like Adolf Hitler had. Donald Trump said that because he does not want a military that is loyal to the United States Constitution. He wants a military that is loyal to him. He wants a military who will be loyal to him personally, one that will obey his orders even when he tells them to break the law or abandon their oath to the Constitution of the United States. I'm glad the world just got to witness the birth of many a future memes live and relish in the meltdown that was Sean Hannity versus Stephen A. Smith. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.